In this video, I'm going to quickly explain how you can easily lower your ping and fix packet loss in Fortnite so you can get as close to zero ping as possible, which will let you get some easy kills. So drop a like if it helps out and subscribe for more videos like this one. Step number one. We're going to update our network drivers via heading over to the desktop. Going to be bottom left on the start menu. Inside type in device manager, then click on the first one. You then want to locate network adapters and you want to find your main internet connection or of your ethernet connection. You'll see it should be the first one and it'll have some sort of brand like mine. What we want to do is right click on it and simply click update driver. You can then search automatically for drivers and if you're on the latest one you'll see it right here. If not, it'll give you one to download. Alternatively, you can google the latest and your brand of connection network driver and then the first link right here should be the one. If you just click on it, you'll see it'll be the brand of your network driver. And mine is obviously Intel. From there, you want to make sure the latest is the most up-to-date latest one right here. And then from there, you can scroll down and find the one specifically for your PC spec. So if you're on Windows 10, you'd obviously get a Windows 10 one. And if from Windows 11, you'd obviously get a Windows 11 one. Once you've downloaded your network driver, you need to unzip it via right clicking on it and click and extract all. And once extracted, you can go ahead and run the X to update your network driver. Next, we're going to configure the best network settings via going back into the device manager, going down to network adapters, finding your main LAN connection, right clicking on it, and clicking on properties inside the properties. Under power management, you firstly want to uncheck allow this device to work the computer if it is available for you as you can see it is not available for me. And then above that you want to uncheck allow the computer to turn off this device to save power. You then want to go under advanced and you want to copy my exact settings for the enable ppm. You want to make sure whether that is disabled by default it is enabled. And then just under it under energy efficient ethernet by default that's turned on but you want to make sure it's off slash disabled. From there, we can scroll down to the bottom where we've got these four settings. At the bottom right here, you want wait for link on auto detect. Work on link settings disabled by default on force. I believe work on magic packet. You want that disabled as well. And then finally, you want work on pattern match to be disabled as well. Don't get to click OK. After next, we're going to change our DNS server as this is something Epic Games even recommend the state that switching your DNS can result in better connectivity and performance for your internet connection, and they actually recommend using Google's DNS or using Cloudflare's DNS. To do that, you want to open up your Windows settings and go into Network and Internet. You then want to scroll down slightly where it says Change Adapter Options. You want to make sure to click your main Ethernet connection. It should be the first one. Then inside here you want to click on properties. You then want to look for something called Internet Protocol version 4 or F4. Make sure this is ticked, then go into its properties. And here is where we're going to tick this box right here called us the following DNS server addresses. And this is where you can put in any DNS of your choosing. Now I'm going to use Google's one which is 8888 on the first line. And then it's 88 and then 44 on the secondary line. After you've put in your custom DNS, you want to click OK. Then close to find out which DNS server is best for you. I recommend Googling DNS benchmark, clicking on the first link, which will be the Gibson Research Corporation, and simply downloading this application right here. When you've downloaded and searched it up, you'll see that it will find the best DNS server for you and your connection. It'll basically show you which one will give you the lowest ping. In addition to that, you can also open the CMD and type in ping, then the DNS server of your choice, and I'm going to use the Google one. It'll run a little scan as you can see right here, and it'll be followed up by showing the ping. So the minimum is 17 ms, maximum 19 ms, and the average is 17, which I'm really happy with. From there you one you can go back in and put in whichever DNS server works best for you. After that, you want to head back into the CMD and you want to type in this command right here. That's ipconfig space slash flush DNS. And once you've run that, it'll successfully flush your DNS resolver cache. Next, we're going to configure our Epic game settings on the desktop. 
press the windows key plus or inside here type percentage sign local update a percentage sign then want to find the epic games launcher folder go into saved go into config and inside windows you want to locate the engine ni file once inside it may be blank or it might have some outdated code just delete everything then paste in these commands right here that http and portal.build path then click on file and save and this code right here is recommended by epic games and you can see how it benefits you on screen right now after that you want to open the epic games launcher then go to the top right corner and click on your little picture then go down to settings then in settings under preferences i recommend using these settings right here you don't want to use a proxy and you do not want to throttle downloads also make sure that the desktop notifications are disabled as these can cause ping spikes when they do appear but finally if you scroll down to the bottom under fortnite you may already have some inside but what you can add is an additional one called limit client text and epic games claim that this may fix your packet loss i myself i don't get packet loss so i'm not going to use that command in itself but if you do you probably should use it as epic games of recommended it may help you after that in library you want to click the three horizontal dots click on options and inside the install options if you go to the bottom where it says pre-download streamed assets you can go ahead and enable this as what this does is it installs all the cosmetic streaming assets that would normally be streamed during gameplay you can see it does cost a fair amount of gigabytes but it's definitely worth it if you are having any sort of connection issues just don't forget to click apply after next up we're going to configure some secret in game settings then under game if you scroll down to the bottom under where it says replays i highly recommend turning off record replays all of them should be off unless you are some sort of content creator or you do use them for like vod reviews and stuff like that i think this will benefit your connection a ton as it's not recording your game also under account and privacy i highly recommend turning off player service and in addition to that these are optional but you can turn off text chart as well as public game stats. Thanks for tuning in to this quick tutorial on optimizing your Fortnite ping for enhancing our gaming experience. If you found these tips beneficial, don't hesitate to show some support drop a like, hit that subscribe button. Your support means a lot. Stay tuned for more gaming insights and strategies. Until next time, peace out, and I'll catch you in the next one. Happy gaming. Wait, 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 wait. Go, 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 go,